We have here a nice big box of equipment from CEF. Uh, I've ordered some Schneider stuff specifically because Schneider is doing a promotion at the moment where you spend a certain amount on their gear and you get a raffle ticket into their drawer and they've got two Nissan EMV 200 vans that are up for grabs. So I thought it would be a good idea whilst I have a job which needs some RC, uh, sockets RC protecting that I can install some sub boards and obviously use the Snyder gear to earn myself a couple of raffle tickets towards an electric van. You never know, pot luck. Um, I think I've got four tickets out of, that, out of that system so far. The only trouble I've had so far is actually getting the uh, main switches that my, my little helper is modeling. Yeah, so yeah, so basically, uh, works have to get done and uh, things have to get upgraded after inspections. And I'm taking this opportunity to use the Snyder gear to gain myself, hopefully, a chance at winning one of these vans. Want that? Yeah. There we go. So obviously, all you get with one of these bare boards is just the buzz bar and the gubbins. The main switch would be sitting down there somewhere. And obviously we're putting RCBOs on this to give us the various different types of protection. Uh, I'm going to see if my little helper will unpackage one of these for me. See that's a 16 amp type B. So uh, RCBO, do you want to unpack that for me, Bubba? Oh. So my only gripe so far about these boards is actually they come without the main switch. So I've had to spend a couple of hours chasing around, ringing lots of different wholesalers, both independent and national, trying to find three of these. Uh, I had no literature telling me that I had to order them separately. And of course, this job is for tomorrow. Three, three, three sub boards to be installed. And no one had any specs. What's that, there, Bubba? So I've got uh, three boards to install, uh, three sub boards, let go, let go, let go, let go, three boards to install, um, two with two RCBOs, uh, no, one with three, one with two, one with five, and I just thought we'd, uh, we'd get the little helper out this evening uh, to get these populated as to where I want them to go. I've not got to worry too much about... Um, putting these in and removing the buzz bars, uh, not buzz bars, the, the gear tray. It's not so much of a tr uh, problem with this job, <clears throat> but still, I've got a, a 32 and a 25 knockout to take out and put galvanised glands, uh, galvanised uh, couplers in, but it's just how it is. You having fun with that? Hey, whatever. Oops. You're happy? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully this uh, wins me the ticket for the winning raffle ticket for the electric van because I don't think I could afford, I could well I can't afford a second hand one let alone a new. So we're going to do this this evening and hopefully we'll get you a video installing these very soon. Obviously if you're, if you're, if you're in America uh, the RCBOs is basically a GF, GFCI with a breaker built in, I guess. Where'd you put the buzz bar? Where did you put the copper bit? Right, so we're just gonna put this bar in the bottom. We've moved the neutral over. Here's another odd thing. They actually hop over the hop over the neutral to the lives. Wrong one. Do you want to do it the other one? Do it this one. Do you want to do that one? That one. So close. You're clever, aren't you? Anyway. Let's move it up there. Hey, Oliver.
Where to put the board? Nope. 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 Uh -oh. I guess I might have to go there. I could have swore I, and there was a gap that I could have fitted this. Hmm. Right, I made an executive decision and uh, I've got a 32mm inch and a quarter, a couple of uh, and bushes there. The board is going there. It will clear that. I checked. <laughs> so our sub main is coming from here. I've removed the water heater. I'm going to put the water heater on this board now and I'm going to use, well I've got plenty of spare waste but I'm probably going to put my 50 amp circuit breaker there for the sub board. <clears throat> Need to get some trunking along here and down, get rid of these singles, that's going to be rewired into the other board and uh, we're taking these two off of this board and putting it onto that board there which feeds the IT room that way. Alright the board is up. Got a couple of the RCBOs in. I'm going to put the water heater on this board as well. Now, I've rung technical to see if I'm allowed to cut down the leads and the neutrals, because that's like, it's going to be messy and horrible. And they said preliminary, yes, but I want to double check, so they're going to ring me back in two or three days' time. Great. So I'm going to have to leave these long and messy. Maybe I'll dress them or cut them down. When I get the go ahead, uh, I need to go and find an MCB for the wall teeter. Sub mains in, uh, 10 mil, uh, 50 amp, and over here we've got all our twins in ready to be extended. We're going to use this as a junction box. No point taking that off. The 6 mil supply is actually on the buzz bar. This is fed from the buzz bar system up here, uh, so I'm not touching that today. And make that off, which is the alarm panel and a couple of clips. Yeah, so we're getting there. Right, got my. Uh, uh, I've joined all the cables in there. They go up in the trunking. We are going over here into the mismatch trunking and lid, which I think was done when it was refurbed. So we're going to sort that out. Uh, new board. I haven't put the screws in yet or the blank plates. Uh, I need to get a. 10 or 16 amp circuit breaker because I've incorporated the water heat into this. Um, I need to square out the MCBs, uh, tidy up the cables inside. Uh, we'll put the sub board on, do some labeling. I want to do some testing first, so we'll switch this on and switch that on. And we'll go around and unplug some sockets and things and make sure that the test results are good. There we go, it's a good color, isn't it? I like that color. Same as my tools. Unplug one of these. There's a fair few, and there's two circuits in there and a cab, so uh, we'll undo all these. I'll be back. Just doing some loop tests and things. I found out circuit number one on the board does nine sockets around the outside, the data cabinet, and also my uh, fuse spur for the alarm. Uh, doing doing an RCD test uh, and then I'm gonna, once I've got all my results for this board I'll go out and get the sundries and things for this. Uh, probably have to pick up the circuit breaker or order it for the Monday. I'm getting the next board prepped and ready to put up and I need to isolate the board I'm working on which is this one here. Um, Funny thing is, this run extension lead round to the server. However, 
I can't show you now because it's shut out. The server, UPS. The batteries are failing on it, so the server shut off anyway. So I ran my lead really to do a temporary supply whilst I was doing what I need to do. Being all conscientious and everything, but it's uh, no good. It's shot. A uh, bit off more than I can chew for now. Um, I've got the new twin here and the earth. Um, put the board lid back on temporary. I need to find a, need to get another breaker or a couple, but the C40s and C50s seem to be rare. Everyone's bought them up because they're putting sub boards in like me. Mm. Preventative maintenance saves trouble. We've got an IT server room. No doubt someone's going to send me an angry email now. 